for breakfast? How about dessert? We're always thinking about desserts. Always. We sent Joel Nichols out to Jasper's in South Kansas City, search of the perfect cannoli. What a fun adventure that would be. This is really, you know, Jasper mentioned earlier the cannoli trail. This has to be a stop on the cannoli trail because Jasper is the king, the crazy king of cannolis. And here we are. Before we go too far and talk about what this is all about, because this is our Hollywood connection right here, tell us what that's all about. So this is Obi-Wan cannoli. This is my, uh, this is my prototype for my uh, invention. You know, chef's got to have something in the background going. Right. I never did like the way we fried cannolis where you put the shells yeah, on a little wooden dowel or a stainless dowel or something, you drop them into the deep fryer and you fry them. You got to switch them around. Some are dark, some are light. Some cook earlier. Some, you know, you don't get the splash effect where you get these little holes. Right. So my good friend, Dr. Tony LaSalle, I was telling him about it. He said, Jay, I can make you a prototype. So he made me this prototype. It goes into a deep fryer basket. You drop it down with your shells on it. And when it cooks, it comes up. Nothing floating around. Oh, it drains, you know. So that's the next big thing on my uh, list. That's the next big thing in the oh, cannoli yeah, yeah. world. Now, let's talk a little bit about this Hollywood connection. What's sure. this all about? So I was reading recently about Katherine Hepburn. I love food history. Right. Every day I celebrate a different food holiday, whether it be National Peanut Butter Day or National Brownie Day. Right. And I came across Katherine Hepburn loved brownies, and she used to have a special brownie recipe. Oh, how cool. It was in the New York Times and everything. I said, wait a second. National Brownie Day. Brownies. Cannolis, National Cannoli <laughs> Month, ding, ding, ding. So I, um, I put the brownies into my ricotta filling. It's like you got chocolate in my peanut butter. I got peanut butter in your chocolate. All right, you know? we got about 25 seconds. Make us a, a quick little cannoli. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. So you have to, that's a must in cannoli filling. Not mascarpone, nothing else. A little bit of powdered sugar. All right. These brownies that we have crumbled up, you put them right in here. And Catherine Hepburn's brownies. A little bit of chocolate syrup. You okay, mix I can that. eat that with a spoon. Oh, yeah, come on. And you mix this up, and you fill this into the shell. It makes the most delightful, tasteful brownie you're ever going to have. Wow, that looks good. Can I oh, yeah, this? come on. Do a little I would probably put a little more chocolate syrup in there. That's awfully good. That's good out of the bowl, but once oh, yeah. you put it in a cannoli, you've got something. And, you know, this is cannoli month, and he declared this about 10 years ago because he realized nobody's celebrating cannoli. And this deserves some celebration. So come on out here to Jasper's 103rd and State Line. They always celebrate good food, and this just happens to be Cannoli Month. And I know you're jealous. Too bad. <laughs> Way to rub it in. Seem sorry. <laughs> All good things. Brownies, cannoli. Oh, that sounds amazing. Thanks, Joel. You bet. Mm.